Okay, I am back with Friends Season 1 Episode 2. Now, I don't <clears throat> I don't really know what this is called. I don't know why I don't look up the episode title before I watch the episode. I, I honestly don't know what to tell you. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, listen. I'll definitely, like, know the episode. I feel like the episode titles for Friends are really long so i may not put the episode title in the you know the youtube video title but what i'll do is probably put it in the description um you know the episode title for anyone who's wondering now i'm not gonna waste time here i just want to get into the reaction because or get into the episode because i like friends yes both in real life and also the tv show um Let's begin. The problem is, though, after the concert's over, no matter how great the show was, you girls are always looking for the comedian again. <laughs> no, I mean, we're in a car, we're fighting traffic, basically just trying to stay awake. <laughs> <laughs> We all know how how parents can be when they come over. They see your place is kind of messed up. You know what? If I, okay, maybe it depends on the type of parents you have. But my parents, if my place was super junky, like it currently is, I'm pretty sure my mother wouldn't like that. You know, my father, he wouldn't like it, but he wouldn't really verbalize it. My mother is pretty verbal about what she thinks. <laughs> she walks into a room and the room is looking pretty junky, pretty filthy. Then she's going to tell you exactly how she feels and exactly how you need to correct it. Otherwise, if she's not doing that, she's not my mother. You gotta love Phoebe, man. <laughs> I mean, cause that's a that's a genuine answer to a genuine question. Like, like, like she did. <sighs> man, I I love Phoebe. What a great character. If I heard someone ask that, I would just naturally assume that they lost it. And it's so cool that Phoebe doesn't assume that. <laughs> you know what I mean? She just assumes. <laughs> Probably not. Because I, I think it might take some of the heat off me. <laughs> really, though? Help her out, Ross. She had the chance to leave a man at the altar. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. Monica, she's honestly a great person. So for them to treat her like this doesn't really make any sense. They're so... Maybe not her father, but her mom is so, like... Subtly disrespectful. I hate it. When you were a kid and you were chubby and you had no friends, you were just fine. Okay. You know they say that you can't change your parents? Boy, if you could, I'd want yours. Oh, oh you, uh, you need any help? Um, okay, sure. Thanks. <sighs> he said help. Okay, all right. Uh, it, I don't know. She just kind of had a Phoebe moment there. He said, do you need any help? <laughs> Not, do you need me to do it? I mean, didn't you think you were just going to meet someone, fall in love, and that'd be it? If someone leaves you for the opposite sex, or, I mean, sorry, if someone leaves you for the same sex as them, it just hurts on a deeper level. I don't know, man. 
It's like, if I was in Ross's shoes, I would be extremely more hurt than I would be if she just liked another man. But if, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it's like, because it's like you had the utmost love and respect for this person. And not saying that them liking another woman would change that, but it's just, that's the, that's the last thing you could have seen coming from this person that you love so much, you know, that they are in love with another woman. Or if you're a woman, if they're in love with another, another man, that's the last thing you could have seen coming. Cause you know, you're just sitting here thinking, oh yeah, she's just uh, hanging out with her friend at home and she's cheating on you with her. You know what I mean? Like, what if that sort of thing happens or, you know, vice versa, if you're a woman, like, it's just, it's crazy to think about being in Ross's shoes and then her being impregnated by Ross, I guess Ross is the father, but it's tough because now he has to get over her dumping him, but he also has to accept being a father from like long distance almost. Like it's just not cool, man. Yeah, things do change, Susan. How about you relax? Kind of a thing? So you're talking same day relationship thing. Like you lose your wife to be, gain her maid of maid of honor? How does that work, bro? Uh, you know what? I'm I'm gonna go. Um, I don't I don't think I can be involved in this particular thing. Well. <laughs> oh, and, and then, you know, if, if, if everything works out and, and you guys end up getting married and having kids, I just hope they have his old hairline and your old nose. <laughs> out of all the people you could fall in love with, why the maid of honor? Come on. Come on. Come, come on, dude. Like, if my... If, <laughs> if my girlfriend was at, you know, if she was at my wedding, right? We broke up. I wouldn't be going to her maid of honor for, to to come with me to the honeymoon location. Like, I wouldn't do that. Come on, man. Like, all the women in the world and you're looking at her maid of honor, if that's the case, then that means he was probably looking at her maid of honor when they were together. You know what I mean? Like, because that that doesn't just click, you know, like that. Maybe they went together, but I'm pretty sure no maid of honor would just betray her friend like that. Like, if her friend broke up with the guy on their wedding day, I'm pretty sure a trustworthy maid of honor. Okay, then maybe she wasn't trustworthy. Maybe it's just as simple as that. Yeah, I guess she wasn't a trustworthy maid of honor because, no, I don't think any maid of honor would break her friend's trust like that and just take her husband to be who's now not, who's now not that title anymore. I don't think she would just take him or go with him, you know, to the location for the honeymoon. Because they're not married. And I don't know if they're dating at that time, but based off everything it seems like they were just they were just friends and i guess they had a friendship there which makes sense but still like come on man if anything i would i would just i would just have my parents go on my honeymoon <laughs> instead of me and someone else because i don't want to go on a honeymoon if i'm not you know actually married i would just have my parents go or some other couple that I'm really cool with. 
but yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. It is kind of weird how that all panned out, but it happened. I thought it was an interesting episode. Um, Susan isn't my favorite person, but they had a moment. They had a moment, and if that moment never happened, then she would still be my least favorite person in the series. Cause she's seeming like public enemy number one. I mean, she comes into Carol's life and woos her and whisks her away into a relationship. And that's cool and all, but at the same time, Carol was also dating Ross. It's just, it's really scary to think about that some people in relationships just can become attracted to others on an emotional level because that's where it starts. It could start on a physical level to where you're physically attracted to someone else while you're dating someone. It Or you could just be talking to someone and realize, hey, I'm very emotionally attracted to this person or I'm very mentally attracted to this person or I'm very spiritually attracted to this person. That could also happen. But for... Carol to be swept away by Susan meant that Susan had a lot of qualities and traits that Carol found very attractive. It just so happened that they were more attractive than Ross's traits. Which sucks, but it happened. Again, it happened. Things happened in this series that... It's like, I don't know which one is worse, you know? Getting with your ex-wife to be maid of honor or leaving your boyfriend or like dumping, dumping your significant other for someone else of the same sex, you know? I don't know which one is worse. And I'm not saying just them dumping them for the same sex makes it bad. The fact that you dumped Ross for someone else in general makes it bad. You know what I mean? Like if you're in a relationship, you, you don't, first off, you don't get into a relationship to break up. No one does that though. Like if you're an adult, a grown adult, male or female, you don't get into a relationship to break up. You get into a relationship for, because you have a specific goal and everyone's goal in a relationship at that age should be marriage. And if you're, if marriage isn't your goal, then why are you in a relationship? If like, that's the thing, man, I'm, maybe I'm, I'm looking too much into this, man. It just really gets, it really grinds my gears. And I don't, people don't really say that, but it grinds my gears. How, how she did Ross, man. She just dumped him. Just like that. But hey, I like the cheap shot Rachel got at the end. You know? It's not some... I, maybe I would do that. Maybe I would. But I get it. I get it. He had what... He, she... Mindy got what was coming to her, honestly. Because you're supposed to be my friend? My maid of honor? And you give... Okay. <laughs> what type of friend is that? What type of friend? That's not a friend. That... Like, cause Minnie didn't, you could tell by that, how the conversation went, Minnie didn't even contact her, you know, since the wedding. They, <laughs> cause Mindy was with, uh, what's the same, Barry. It's just, it's, wow. And not to mention, um, you know, Monica and Ross's parents. Why do they hate Monica so much? It's like they say all this disrespectful stuff to her. I'm just not a fan of how they treat the homie like that. Like Monica is honestly, she's such a nice woman. She's such a nice person. How could they do her like that? I don't know. And actually, now, now that I think about it, Monica, her place is a mutual like setting in the series her place is where they all hang out right they all go to monica's house or monica's apartment and that seems to be the primary location of like a mutual gathering 
It's where the six friends all hang out. And when they're not there, they're, you know, at Rachel's workplace. So Monica didn't deserve that treatment from her parents, but I get it. You know, parents may say things about their children, but it's those things that they said. I feel like they could have just kept to themselves, you know? Like, they didn't really need to hurt her feelings like that. Because her feel, like, if she, come on, man. When she was a kid, if she was chubby when she was a kid, don't bring that up if she's an adult. Because that was a moment in her, she's clearly super skinny now, which means, which means she probably got bullied for it. I mean, most, most chubby kids get bullied. Or not bullied, they, they even, they may get, you know, just like, uh, they may get, like, micro-aggressively bullied for being uh, chubby or obe obese or anything like that, but I'm pretty sure she got some of it when she was younger. I'm pretty sure she felt very insecure with her body, um, you know, even after she lost weight. The character, Monica, not Courtney Cox, that is. So for them to say that, it honestly just makes no sense because parents would never say that, man. Because parents are the ones that are there, you know, when their kid is crying or when their kid is sad or mad or happy. They're there. So they, they know how their child felt in the past and they know how much their child has grown. So for them to say that, it just didn't really, it didn't fit their title as parents. It did. Overall, they seem like funny parents i'll probably be laughing or mad when they appear uh in the future but i do like them nonetheless i will say this though i'm still loving friends i i still love this show i'm gonna keep going because this show is great i know i didn't put out a reaction last week listen my schedule i'm just trying to figure out how to make everything work consistently and i think what i'm gonna do is have i guess you guys you guys will just have to see it's kind of hard to explain so i'll just have to like put the reactions out as they come along and i thought i was gonna react to this one show but i actually decided to bring the office back which is out on my youtube channel now so if you want to check that reaction out feel free um lastly guys if you want to see like full length reactions, definitely. I would recommend subscribing to my OnlyFans. It's not only for fans. I don't know why. I don't know if people think that, that when I say OnlyFans, it means only fans can get access, but that's just the name of the website. Um, it's for people who want to see like, you know, the full length reactions to my episodes or to my well for my reactions they can see the full length episodes and my full length reactions so what once i get five five subscribers over there i will definitely start like you know posting consistent reactions over there right now i have about this many But as soon as I get five subscribers, I promise I will be uploading there consistently, frequently, and everything in between. Until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit the notification bell while you're at it to stay notified on my future friends' reactions going forward. And I will see you guys real soon. Sayonara.